What do you want, gringo? What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. Been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, gringo? I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? You come to my country, my poor little country, and you think you can be friends with the president? No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. You'll be sorry, friend. <laughs> relax! Let me relax! <laughs> sure. Somewhere between the threatening stare and the soldier's arm to the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo! Let's come me drink. And then we'll talk. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. John Marston. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroy a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. And I am uh, no soldier, Aquila. Mm -hmm. But we are both beholding to our time. A brave man. Perhaps you've heard of him. Coronel Alande. He's trying to preserve the order in our province. To keep our civilization alive. It is tough. The people are and usually swayed. Sometimes in the service of what is right, you gotta do terrible things. It breaks my heart. I also am no moralist, sir. I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American, an outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist, but you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the government, or what is left of it. Outlaws seek each other. They're possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills around here. They're united under one traitor name, Abraham Reyes. Where could I find this Reyes? If I knew, I would be there, hunting him with everything that is true within me. Reyes finds you. Like cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but it's possible, though. My men are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly you could ride with us. And if everything goes okay, I'm sure the coronel will help you. Okay. Vámonos! Tequila! Love me some tequila. Anyway, let's go. Let's go, Warhorse. Tequila! Are they leaving without me? Come on, man. Come Let's on. go. Alright, can just bump into rocks, that's fine. Follow me. We're headed to Chuparosa. Chuparosa! Let's go. Whoa. Man, it's been a while since I've played this game. Such a warm welcome from the Mexican Are you trying to fucking run See, run me off the road, dude? Come expect. on. I hadn't even crossed the border and I was being shot at. You will hear a lot of words like tyrant and oppression here. Words that the peasants have been taught, but do not understand meaningless words. The army is suffering uh, a crisis of reputation. Even I've heard about the colonel down here. He's not famous for his compassion. This is the point. Have you met Coronel Allende? Do you know him? No. Okay, my headset is like... 
turned off. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. Baby. Ender is a good man, a strong man. He carries the weight of a million problems on his shoulders. Am I supposed to pity him? You gringos are so quick to judge. You love to talk badly of other people because it makes you feel better about yourselves. Maybe you should look in the mirror. You're the one talking about this, and I ain't here to make judgment on the way of your government. I've got enough problems with my own right now. This isn't America, senor master. We are poor. Kindness must take a different form. What is better, to pull your arm around a hungry man, or to be him until he grows some food to eat? I think you need to answer that question yourself. Stop running me off the road, dude, for fuck's sake. This Billy, the cowboy, and his Mexican friend. Bill Williamson's a fella I used to know, and Javier Escuela, well, I knew him too. What do you mean? You know this man? We was friends once. Part of a past I can't seem to get rid of. The past is all that's real, my friend. It cannot be erased. That is the problem with the people here. They spend too much time dreaming about imaginary futures. I know I can't change the past, but I'm sure gonna do something about the future. Whatever helps you sleep at night, amigo. My country is full of American criminals, mostly in the service of the rebel pigs. Mexico is an easy place for men to lose himself, whether he wants to get lost or not. Hopefully not too easy. I ain't got much time to find these men. There must be a high price on their heads. The highest price. Can I ask how much? I'm not getting paid. It's... it's a long story. I'm being made to do this. I will never understand you Americans. Me neither. We have a system of law in Mexico, senor. And we do not tolerate people who think they can run with their own. However, if you help us, we help you. No one hides from Coronel Allende for long. All right, we almost there, man. Come on. Dude! It is killing this country. Don't the people have the right to stand up for themselves? Now watch, when I go on this side, he's gonna ram me off this side as well. Don't you throw silly ideas at me. What do you know about the rights of the Mexican people? Very little. I'm just saying there must be something behind this rebellion. I'll tell you what's behind the Senor Marston. Lies. Insidious lies. The peasants are stupid. And like cows, they can be herded. It only takes a few men to move many. Maybe they've just had enough of being called stupid. You're talking about things you don't understand. If you ask me something, I'm gonna give you an answer. Are you a revolutionary? Is that why you're here? I was once. Here we go. I suppose. In a twisted kind of way. Thought I could change something if I fought hard enough. Change what? I don't know. Maybe that was the problem. Revolution is always selfish. There is nothing but greed and ego. Individuals put in their own needs. Is this not the place? For fuck's sake, we're still going. People fighting for change when they have no idea what change is. If you're a poor man who's been beat down all his life, any change is gonna seem good. What? You think that overthrowing the government is going to make a poor man rich? If you're not helping them, it's only natural they're gonna look for someone else who will. For a tired old revolutionary, you are very naive. What do you want us to do? Walk around giving out money? Every poor person in Mexico? <laughs> what a terrible idea. First, they need to look at why they're poor. Then they need to go out and do some work rather than sitting on their culos talking about freedom. Nine minutes into this video, and all we've done is look at a cutscene and ride a horse. Holy Leader shit. Of the rebels? Abraham Reyes, he's a traitor, a liar, a coward in a senate, a hero who has done nothing. I, I promise this episode will get more interesting. Actually, I can't promise that because I don't know what we're going to do. That's but a nice image. He is from a rich family. I have heard. Born in a golden cradle, who pretends to fight for the poor. He's taking advantage of the ignorant and the weak minded. He must be telling the people something they want to hear. Of course he is. All that bastard does is del Diablo. Dude, man. Promises you can never keep. It takes more than a few promises. Stay in your no land, DeSantos. Nothing else. Look at this. You've got a whole fucking road over there. Thank you. I'm gonna put. Actually, can I push him? I wonder if I can push him off. Hey, horses. Oh, I can't. Alright. Is this it? Here we go. Alright, here we are. Finally, five years later. 
Episode 72, we finally made it. Come on, the train is waiting. Oh, we're catching a train now. Oh, fantastic. Wait, I want my horse back. There we go. Vamonos. Follow the Santa to the train. Alright, let's go. Oh shit, that's what we're doing, okay. Okay, okay. Are we killing these guys? You guys bad? No? Alright. We gotta protect the train. Can't I just like hop onto the train and then defend it? Guess not. Uh, Springfield rifle, let's go. Just don't go onto the tracks by accident, Warhorse. Please. Do not do that. That will be bad. There's probably guys up here, isn't there? Maybe not. Alright, almost 12 minutes, still haven't even fired a shot or done anything. Here we go. Here we go, finally. Action time. There we go. How am I going to get on the other side? Hang on, hang on. Come on, Warhorse. Don't fuck this up. Ooh. There we go. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, now they're going on this side. Hold up, hold up. Oh my god. I don't like being that close to the train. Look at this guy up there. Get out of here. You. Goodbye. Whoa! Get out of here! You too! There we go. Oh shit, someone's horse is gone. Alright, running out of ammo, this isn't good. Oh, hang on, let me cross! Ooh! Oh my god. Here we go. Here we go! Damn it. Why is my, like, auto aiming not working? There we go. There we go. I'll kill all of them. All right, we're still alive, man. My headset cut out again. This is weird. I don't know why it's doing it. It just cuts out for a bit. Oh, we're hopping onto the, into the tunnel. Let me cross. There we go. Just so I'm with this guy. Oh man. Oh, I need a cross. Hang on. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. No. Auto aim, you fuck. Woo. There we go. Goodness. Get out of here. And we've got two bullets, that's great. Horse, what are you doing? Watch out. Look at this guy, he's freaking out. Alright, uh, let's switch. Repeater. Anything else? I don't know what's better. I'll go with this. Maybe I should, like, check out the revolver. Nah, oh, fuck it. Sweet, we made it. And my headset cut out. What the fuck's going on with my headset, though? 
Oh, there we go. Todo bien, compadre. Did a good thing for Mexico today. Coronel Allende will be very pleased. Los rebeldes están robando el tren. Levántese, perezoso, que yo para que le estoy pagando. Marston, you're gonna have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start that train before it crosses the bridge. Todavía levántese. Usted también. Y allá atrás, muévase. ¿Qué le pasa a usted? Ay, Dios mío, levántese. Ya mismo. Yeah, don't worry, I'll do everything. Of course, I will. Why couldn't that guy just shoot them both? Seriously. Fuck's sake, man. I gotta do everything here. Ow. Ow. Get out of here. Get out of here. Holy shit, I'm almost dead. Alright, let's go. Let's go, Warhorse. Me and you. Use your legs. Thunder thighs. Oh, fuck's sake, man. There we go. Alright, get alongside the front and jump onto the train. Let's go. Oh shit. Oh! Oh, that didn't work. Hang on. There we go. He's gonna do everything in this bloody place. Okay. Okay. Let's look at that man. Almost got fucked up. Almost. All right. Anyway, someone else can deal with that train. Who the fuck are you? Where did you come from? Yeah, he's like, what the hell's happening here? Anyway, oh, we're like kind of close. Wait, I thought I had two missions. Hang on. Did I have an L? Yeah, I have an L. The hell? Wait, where's that L? Hello? Oh, it's down here. Luisa Fortuna. And a Santa. Alright, what we're gonna do is... Uh... Uh... Should we? We got kind of like a lot of strangers. And I don't know anywhere over here. Does any, anything have a stagecoach over here? I don't know. There's another stranger right there. Um, Alright. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go over here. Whoa, what the fuck? Alright, oh, we can't cross this bridge. Right. Right. Um, now that's... Yeah, look at that. we got to go all the way around for that. No, what we're going to do is we're going to cross with the horse. Alright, horse. Alright, war horse. A horse was unable to find me. Well, fuck. You know what? I guess that's going to do it for this episode. And then when I come back next time, I'll just start at a mission or whatever. Because this episode looks like it's about done anyway, so. That's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching. When we come back next time, I'll see you in another mission. Until then, toodaloo.